Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Shiver Till Mountain just got a new art update, so let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so we all know that both Firefly Forest and the Academy have gotten art updates along with um, Lamplight Town, but today Shiver Till Mountain just got its art update, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like in here. I've only seen the main area, which looks like this. I have not seen anything else. So, as you can see, everything looks like it's HD, I guess. I really like the animations for the fire here. I think it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and check down here to see what it looks like. So, um, for some reason, this area isn't loading. Um, I don't know why. I also don't know why there's a cloaked wizard down here. I've definitely beaten that before. So we're just going to head back into Box Cave, and we'll go ahead and head up here. Um, they haven't updated Bach. I don't know if they've updated Flora either, but I assume they'll update Bach so that it's rasterized like everything else. And, okay, why is my wizard, like, what is this? Huh. So, what is happening to my account? Um, let's go ahead and go up here and see what happens. Okay. Alright, so I got it to work. I just had to go into an incognito tab. But this is what the treasure room looks like. Um, I'm going to try and go back into the other two areas that we weren't able to look like. Because I think they should work now. Since um, I think it just had something to do with the fact that I had loaded up a bunch of assets. Um, so this is what this area looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. I like how they made it seem a lot darker. I really like the blue that they're using for this. But if we head up into the furnace room, we should be able to take a look at what the furnaces look like. Also, um, I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why they want me to place these in here. Um, I am going to use a hack this it's not going to be like a game changing hack i'm just going to get rid of the monsters because i don't really want to battle them okay so sadly it looks like the hacks aren't going to work so i'm just going to have to go through this normally uh so we are going to have to do battles which is going to be a little annoying so um we just finished that battle so let's go ahead and head up here and see what this area looks like Alright, so there's nothing really special here, but um, I'm pretty sure this is a new pet. You can also get snow fluff in here, I didn't know that. So, I think this area looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and head down and go to some of the other areas in here. I'm going to try to go through them all, um, but it might take a while to do. Alright, so now we are going to head up here and see what this area looks like. I'm pretty sure that there's this statue here. Yeah, this statue looks really cool. I think they added a lot more monsters here, which is going to be annoying. Um, but let's go ahead and head to the right. And why is this here? I don't know why we're able to fight the mini boss. I think it has something to do with the fact that they, like, updated monster spawns or something like that. I think that might be why I can battle that mini-boss. But this is this area right here. Um, so let's just go ahead and battle this blizzherd, I guess. Also, the spikes up here are blocking uh, the wizard. So um, uh, that's kind of weird, I guess. So, like, you can see that the spikes are in front of the wizard, which... I don't think they've ever done something like that before, but it does look pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and head into the Ruined Entrance, which I think we just got into a battle. So I think they increased the places that monsters can spawn. Yeah, they definitely did, because normally there wouldn't be this much. Um, I think that I'm just going to relog because I don't want to do these two battles that I'm going to have to do. So now we can head down here and let's see what the mountain pass looks like. So I think this looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to re-log like multiple times now. Actually, no, I can just head back to uh, normal Shiver Shill and then just go up from there. 
because I'm trying to do as little monster battles as possible because those take a lot of time to do. So, um, surprisingly, we don't have to battle anything up here. But let's go ahead and go to the Rail of Ruins. Um, we're going to have to do three monster battles in here. So we have now beaten all three of those monsters. This is a Yeti statue that I'm talking about. I think it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and head into the Mountain Valley. And I think this bridge looks really cool as well. We have to do probably one battle in here unless we somehow get into a battle with the Cloaked Wizard, which I don't think we should. But I think the Mountain Valley looks really cool. So, yeah, I really like this bridge over here. I think it looks really nice. So we'll go ahead and head over it. Hopefully we can avoid this battle. And, yeah, so let's go ahead and see what Worm's Rest looks like. So um, this area looks pretty normal. Somehow we got in a battle there. Okay, so I did both of those battles. I don't know how this chest is open. I definitely haven't been in Sewer Chill in, like, the past week at least, if not, like, a few months. Also, they updated what these things look like. Um, these are, like, the cubes that you can open um, in the furnaces. Um, they updated what those look like. They also updated what the crystals look like. Not the power crystals, but those blue crystals that you can get out of um, putting the cubes into the furnaces. Um, those are updated to be HD as well as the cubes. So, that is something that you can keep in mind. Um, I don't think any other items were updated, just the cubes and the crystals. But, let's go ahead and head up here and see what this area looks like. So, we are in the chasm, and it doesn't look like anything is too interesting up here. Um, there is a cloaked wizard, which I don't think there had been before. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the right. I think we're going to have to do at least one battle in here. All right, so I think that we shouldn't have to do another battle here, yeah. So we are going to head into the Royal Passage, which, yeah, this looks cool as well. Um, I think Shiver Tusk might be new to Shiver Chill, but I really like how this door looks, these um, pillars, and the Yeti statue again look very cool. Let's go ahead and check out the throne room. So this one doesn't actually look that good. I thought it was going to look pretty cool, but it's not that good. And then we're going to have to do a battle against Shiver Tusk and maybe another one. I don't know. And all right, here's the final area. And I think this one looks pretty nice as well. So that is all of the updates that were made in Shiver Chill. Also, there is a new menu bar down here for some users. It's in beta. Um... I have checked pretty much all my accounts. None of it have it for some reason. I think that is a pretty common beta. But if you have it, you should go... Or if you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and check it out because you might have it. Um, but yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. Let me know what you guys think about this update in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and bye.